my crafty loving friends. Welcome to our Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to do some primitive decor with crows. If you haven't noticed, I made a stencil with a crow with the star hanging out of its mouth and I have it up on my Etsy shop. But I wanted to show you how I was going to use it today by taking something that was like a coastal decor, wall decor, and flipping it into some primitive decor. Let me show you the stencil. I'm going to use this backer here so that you can see it really well. It's a crow with the string and the star hanging out of its mouth. Made it a little bit different uh, than what I've seen before. So I had this made up. It's on my Etsy shop. There'll be a link down in the description. And at the end of this video, after I show you how to use it, stick around because I'm going to tell you some fun stuff. So I thrifted these at the flea market and brought them home and decided that I was going to make them into some primitive decor. These are like little windows or window frames on the back and then a seashell-like canvas on the top of it. So I'm just going to start by painting with my folk art mushroom paint. You guys know if you've watched me for a while how much I love this color. So we're going to use this as the base on this canvas and it's going to need two coats. So I cover it all uh, with the mushroom paint and then let it dry and then do a second coat. I used a paintbrush with a little bit of black paint on it. It was just from previous use. I didn't add any to it. And I just went across the top to give it a little bit of a distressed look, just some dimension to this uh, area for my picture of my crow. So I went one way, just making strips across, and then I went the other direction. And I also went along the edges and kind of highlighted uh, the edges with some of the black paint. So now I'm just taking a little bit of a sponge and I'm sponging on some black paint. This is folk art uh, black uh, ink, I believe it's called. And um, I'm just uh, sponging it on all over. And then I will do something special with this star. I wanted to make my star stand out just a little bit, so I'm using my Fusion Mineral Paint, the Metallics Copper, and I'm just going, just dabbing a little bit on the star. Now I did hit it with the hair dryer or the heat gun real quick just to dry it uh, so that I could put this on. Not too much though, because it will melt the stencil. So there we go, we kind of uh, made it look a little bit different, a little bit, metal, uh, rusty, and I'm going to take some of my paint and do a coat all over the frame. We're going to put black on here, and I only did one coat. It covered really well. In order to make it a little bit more finished and look nice from the front and the back, I took a small paintbrush and my black paint and just uh, went in between each of the slats and even when you couldn't see it. I also took a big paintbrush, I don't think I show it, but I painted around the edge of the frame as well so that it was all colored black and just looked nice and finished. I grabbed a piece of sandpaper and I started to distress the edges. Now, if you were to find something like this and wanted to do similar, you don't have to 
uh, distress it. I like to do that. It's my style. But if you don't, you want to just leave it just the uh, painted part. That is totally fine. You can stop here and not go on any further as far as distressing. So I distress all the way around on my edges. And now I'm taking my antique Waverly wax, which I finally bought some. And I'm going over the whole frame. Now where I had sanded, it brought back some of the uh, raw wood and some of the paint. And when I go over it with that wax, it just darkens that up. And it also just makes the black paint a little bit richer and it also seals it in. So it keeps it a lot cleaner. So once I was done waxing the frame, I took the same brush and I'm just gonna go around the edges with the antique wax and give it a uh, just a, an antique look on the picture itself. I did take this out first and use my Rust-Oleum Clear Sealer on the whole piece before I started this process. It makes it a little bit easier to get the uh, antique wax off if you get too much on there. You can use a little bit of water and it would just uh, dull it out and stuff. This is just a uh, dry rag and I'm just going over the edges and then as I swirl it on there I'm just going to wipe it back. I want it just on the edges and then once I'm done going all the way around the frame I'm going to go around one more time and make it a little bit darker around the very very edge. And then I'm also going to take my brush and go across the whole picture just lightly kind of what I did with the black paint to give it some uh, dimension and uh, just a an antique look. As you can see it comes off just a very light light touch and then you just go back and wipe it back and it leaves a little bit of discoloration in certain spots and that just makes it um, look like it's old. I pulled off from a garland of pit berries uh, about four of these pit berry uh, little picks and I wound them together and made uh, just a little swag out of them so that I could put it at the bottom of my picture frame. So I'm just going to go ahead and staple it on because I want it to stay. I could have wired it on there or I could have glued it but I wanted to make sure that it stayed because this will be hanging on the wall being a wall hanging. So I just stapled on either side of it. I hit one of the berries with um, my staple gun and it kind of shattered it. So there's a little bit of powder residue, but that'll come right off. I will be covering it up anyway. So here is uh, some black and tan material. I just pulled off a strip of it and I'm gonna glue that on in the middle. And then I'm gonna take some of this Spanish moss and go underneath and around the bow and in and out of the pit berries. Now this is just gonna cover up any of the little stems from the pit berries, the staples, and just anything that I don't want to be seen. I also think it helps that bow pop a little bit and holds it up. And I think it just adds a nice rustic touch to the picture frame. gave my Spanish moss a little bit of a haircut, a little touch up, and trimmed my, my bow tails, and I think this came out really cute. Now I'm just going to show you not the full uh, transformation of the next one, but I wanted to show you I just flipped over my stencil and made the crow look in the other direction, so they just it looked a little bit different. I also wanted to point out that these stencils are really nice and thick and I washed them or washed it immediately after I used it the first time and I will with this one as well.
how do you like my primitive decor made from uh kind of like ocean theme uh seashell themed but it's really cool primitive wall decor now so i used my stencil and i said stick around and i'll tell you something fun so what i'm going to do is this is going to be free shipping on my etsy shop there will also be a link down in the description that will take you there and if you use yt prim 10 right here if you use that when you're checking out you'll get 10 percent off your purchase of the stencil so if you're interested in getting this go right ahead check it out i'm going to be ordering some more because i'm getting low but uh, they're very quick turnaround with the company so i think it's going to take no time at all so what you can do for me if you would like is subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to like and share and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my stencil, what you think of my primitive decor, and what you may be doing with your stencil if you get one. Thanks for watching as always. Have a great day.